you doing everybody? I'm going to be doing some cooking tonight. thought I'd come out and uh, show you guys the sunset. So we're going to be doing some cooking in the RV. I'm going to be making spaghetti squash with uh, a little bit of oil and garlic and also roasted cauliflower and roasted Brussels sprouts. Of course, as always, you can see the directions of how to do it and the ingredients that I use in the description below. And uh, while you're down there, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe as well. So go ahead and uh, enjoy this sunset and let's go inside. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prep the spaghetti squash. So I have to go ahead and cut this right in half and throw it in the oven and get it going before I do anything else because it's gonna take the longest to cook. So I already have the oven preheated to 400 and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and slice this up and prep it. So what you're gonna wanna do here with these is instead of slicing it long ways like this, like most people do, um, you're actually gonna slice it down the middle this way because the fibers inside of the squash actually run uh, side to side, not up and down. So when you cut it this way and it cooks and you go to pull it apart, the, the strands of the squash on the inside actually come out longer because because they run this direction. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it down, right down the middle, um, and also on each side. So when I go to place it on my pan to put in the oven, it will sit nice and uh, flat right onto the skillet. All right, and then right down the middle. All righty, right down the middle. So what we'll do is we'll clean out some of this pulp and seeds, oil it, uh, put a little salt and pepper on there, and then get it in the oven. Alrighty, so this is how you would normally do it for if you were putting these in, say, a conventional size oven, but because we live in an RV, I'm gonna have to cut these down a little bit smaller in order to fit in our little oven. So what I'll do here is cut these again this way. That way I can actually fit them inside my iron skillet and slide right in the oven. Alright, so I'm just putting a little bit of oil in the iron skillet here. And I put a little bit of butter in the ones that are still with a bottom. And that way the flavor can kind of cook into those with a little bit of S&P. So we'll put these in here. Alrighty, so now that we got these all set up in the pan here, I can go ahead and slip them into the oven and start prepping my cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and prep the cauliflower. So I'll remove the stems, bottom part. So you're trying to get the middle part out, so that way you can free up the actual cauliflower pieces. I'm going to go ahead and prep the Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to trim off the end and slice them in half because I want them to be able to cook up fairly quickly. All right, so now i got my Brussels and my cauliflower ready to go. Um, like I said, all I'm going to be doing on these is a little bit of oil and, and salt and pepper. I'm going to be getting them in the oven once I have the spaghetti squash out and uh, I'll get them going and that gives me time to let the squash cool and then I can pull it apart to get the spaghetti part of it actually out. So uh, last thing I'll be doing is the chicken here on the range. And then I'll get it all together on the plate for us for dinner. Should turn out really nice. So I went ahead and got the squash and the Brussels sprouts cooked up and I'm working on the cauliflower as well. So I figured I'd go ahead and cook up the chicken and get it ready. This should only take a couple minutes, so. All 
So I'm finishing up the cauliflower here. I already got the chicken, Brussels, squash all ready to go. So I added a little bit of uh, garlic to the cauliflower here. Just salt, pepper, oil, and garlic. And uh, smells awesome. All right, so everything here finished up. Uh, we got a nice color on the cauliflower. Brussels sprouts turned out nice and crispy. Uh, chicken's good. I'm going to go ahead and pull apart the squash into the spaghetti strands. So dinner tonight turned out amazing, of course. But uh, yeah, you guys got to try that spaghetti squash. I mean, that stuff is great. It, uh, it acts just like normal pasta, but with a lot less carbs, uh, a lot more flavor. And it's just something different to try every once in a while, you know? So uh, I usually like to put a, some tomatoes in there too, or maybe some fresh chopped basil on top. But um, yeah, tonight it turned out really good. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, like I said, go ahead and check out some of my other videos and uh, give the video a like if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. So I will see everybody around the next campfire. Have a good night, everybody.